Welcome to the distortion. Today, let's talk about the X Files. David Duchovny, musician, songwriter, singer. What else? Pay YouTubers. We're not here for free. Top news today. I'm not wearing pants. I'm your host, Fred Dreadnought. Welcome to the distortion. All right, let's get started. Rush. Rush is broken up. Neil Peart. Peart. Neil Peart. Don't don't judge me. I bought every Rush CD from Columbia House when I was 17 years old. You know the drummer. The guy with the last name. Retired. I was going to eat that piece of apple. So, Alex and Getty might do their own thing. That'd be great. You know, I'd seriously like to see smaller shows. Maybe, I, I've heard there's a thing that they won't come to Thunder Bay where I live because apparently, uh, I don't know, their tour bus broke or something when they were young and people from Thunder Bay just gave them a hard time or something. Anyways, that would be great. Uh... I think they should start a podcast. Getty, get me on. You know, I don't fool around. Fred here's a serious guy. Tony Paul Castro. Bud. I don't have a problem with Fret Buzz. I really don't. Fender play. I've never given up before. I just never did. We don't need your advice. We don't need, we do need your device. I had a thing stuck in my tooth there. I don't know, I thought this would be a thing. It's a really good apple. Now for us poor guitarists. The Zoom. GCE 3. Looks like a toy. It's got pretend buttons. They say zero latency. And all the effects from... The G series <coughs> pedals, such as this one right here. You know, I just put a stereo adapter and I go right into the sound card of my computer. The Zoom GC E3 coming soon. Good job, Zoom. Oh, and by the way, your your previous model it actually fun the knobs function. Fake screens and fake knobs. Because your wife likes fake knobs doesn't mean you have to sell them to us. All right. Let's talk about David. 
I don't know. I read this on Music Radar. Um, it was a great article. You know, I, uh, I, I've reserved uh, the moment right now to, to listen to any of his music. Who's a stylist? Anyways, he plays a Martin guitar. Who cares? Uh. Anyways, he actually it was a great article. Yeah. What did I see? Oh, it's something about the motherfucker. This part. How intimidating was it to put yourself out there as a musician? People love to shoot celebrity side projects down. I le- I thought that was a great. A great question. It's just human nature, David says. Nobody wants to reevaluate. It's like, I know that he was an actor. I don't have the time or energy to reevaluate this motherfucker. Yeah, no. So, I don't know. I guess he's just doing it because he wants to. So, let's, uh, let's hear what he sounds like. likes it good job dave check him out uh uh, this is uh rich chamberlain put this article on music radar yeah anyway i thought it was great great stuff um now into other news tc electronics without the s We don't care about your new products on YouTube anymore. Uh, I took a poll. I don't give a shit. Tora isn't telling me what the new products do. I don't watch them anymore, bud. Don't really care. I like Tor way too much. And then that one video I did watch, before I knew Tor was even gone, the guy narrating it sounds exactly like him. Like, obviously Tor wasn't doing, if Tor was doing the writing before, he still, he wrote it for that one, or whoever was doing the writing, still the same guy. Sounded like Tor, anyways. Pay the YouTube gear people. Just, just send them to us. Well, maybe me soon. Just send them now, I don't care. Just pay us, like you just. We'll tr- Man, I don't know. I don't want. I don't want to keep the stuff. I don't have a use for eight thousand pedals. It's got to be a way to like, just send it, and then I'll send it to the next guy, man. And then pay us. You want free advertising? I don't know. Make your own YouTube channel and buy your own cameras then. Still putting a circle on that. I'm not scratching that off. Fred Dreadnought here. I'm going to put another box around it. Alright, now it's time. For YouTube's favorite inter... 
news channel segment. Awkward reviews. The Fender. Acoustic Sonic. It sucks. Don't send me that one. You don't want to know what I have to say about that. Alright, thanks for coming out to Awkward Gear Reviews. Okay. Um, Nam. Never been. Been on the internet to all the Nam videos many times. Uh, I like Ryan's videos about the pet, the pedal, the pedal like marathon he did. That was great. It's good job, bud. I really like those. Um, uh, I know where to get high quality uh, Advil if I ever go. As well, no thanks to Ryan, but. That's okay. Anyways, everybody talked about lots of stuff, so I was trying to find something that nobody, that other people that I watch regularly were talking about, and I saw that Anasound Spring Reverb uh, pedal with the different modules that you can plug in. Uh, I thought that was kind of cool, especially if you're, uh, you could just keep that on the desk. That would be the on-the-desk uh, Spring Reverb pedal. Um, I, I just try running it, uh, I don't know how you do that side chaining or I, w I would try running it somehow like that just f to use for other things too, I guess. Just, uh, an easier way to access it maybe. Anyways, just on, an on the desk way to access a spring reverb pedal. Spring reverb. I think that's cool. Um, the 40th anniversary tube screamer, Ibanez. Who cares? Seriously. What's that one worth? Like another 200? Let's see. I have the power. Ibanez, 40th anniversary. It's probably 500 bucks. It's probably some special crap. Ibanez, 40th anniversary. Screamer. Do, 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 do. Let's see, Sweetwater. Excuse me. One ninety nine. Called that. Sweetwater savings. One hundred and fifty seven dollars in savings. The MSRP three hundred and fifty seven freaking American dollars for a flapjack and tube screaming pedal. Seriously. Seriously. No wonder. Just clone them friggin' things. I don't know. Hate me for that comment, I guess, but... Man. I seriously can't believe that, though. Seriously can't believe that. $357 Tube Screamer. The Overdrive Pro. They call it the Overdrive Pro. So they call them all. A deluxe. A double a double wide tube screamer. Yeah, I guess they call them the Overdrive Pro. Anyway, whatever. I don't know. I'm kind of over it. The tube screamer. Aren't you? And if, you know what, if Beastronics can do a pedal like they do, look them up if you haven't. I'll put something. Beastronics. Yeah, if you can do that, 
and not charge $357 for it? Now we're talking. That's art. That is, that is, that is engineering and art and intelligence. Great sounds, functional, beautiful, individual. All right, so that's it for the main news this week. To close the show out, I'm going to do my favorite, one of my favorite songs every week. Today, Here Again by Rush. If you have not heard this song, do yourself a favor, take a listen to this song, because... It's just a bluesy thing. The solo is just amazing. So many times before. So check that out. Next, my favorite, I think my favorite, I mean, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. I guess one of my favorite, one of my favorite YouTube guitar instructors. This beautiful man right here, Eric Haugen. Bud, you're the bomb, man. Um, what's one of my favorite ones? I started watching you quite. Before, you blew up not long after I uh, started watching you, so it was a while ago. There are a million ways to learn guitar online. You've got the video games, the bouncy ball approach, the, the random YouTube videos. Hey guys! But you have to start with Let's something do this, more Tony. important first. Now, before I go any further, I want you to skip this video right now if you are already comfortable moving around the fretboard and don't have a problem with fret buzz or knowing proper guitar playing technique. Oh! That's the one I hate! If you don't have a problem with fret buzz or knowing proper guitar playing technique, please skip this video. The most ambiguous thing I can possibly say. If you're unable to walk without slightly losing your balance once in a while, please, please skip this video because you don't need me. Sorry, Eric, I can't watch him, buddy, I can't. Oh!
your sweat, your tears. I'll wipe you all off. If you go to my website, www.becoolhitmyfears, you could get tabs Eric. for this lesson and for a lot of the other things you see me play on YouTube. Let's talk about the equipment I'm using to make the sounds I'm making. This is a 1966 Fender Mustang. These are Tom Brantley custom pickups. If you don't know Eric, I'm check him out. My neck position Not beginner lessons. I'm going into my board. Unless you're a talented beginner or a deco. quick learner. Or don't mind uh, struggling now a bit. Going into my Definitely, so though. Great feel. He's an individual player. So uh, he's got a great tone. Further amp over here. He's funny. Tweed pros Smart. Today. That has yeah. a Weber Alnico 15 inch speaker. One of my favorites. Recorded with. Yeah. One of my favorites. Anyways, thanks for coming out to the distortion. We'll see you next week. Good night, everyone. Kelly, my hair is fucked this week. Today on The Distortion. We turn the furnace off before we start filming. <laughs>